Welcome to Business with Teacher T. In this video, we're going to look at the factors affecting supply. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about all the Teacher T videos once they're released. Demand is related to the consumer and supply is related to the producer or firm. It's about the amount the firm is able to supply at a given price. A key reason for firms wanting to supply more of a product is profit. Another reason is lower costs. So firms are going to want to be in markets where they can command a higher price. Now let's take a look at some of the factors that affect the amount a firm would supply. These are the factors affecting supply. Subsidies. Changes in the cost of production. Indirect taxation, new technology, and external shocks. A good way to remember the factors affecting supply is to remember the word spite. So the S would stand for subsidies, the P would stand for the production in changes in the cost of production, the I would stand for indirect taxation, the T for technology and new technology, and the E for external shocks. Subsidies are a grant given by the government to reduce the cost of production. As you can see in the headline of the news article, the government in Pakistan are offering subsidies to farmers to enable them to lower their costs of production and increase the supply of their crops. When subsidies are offered, the firm is in theory able to produce more and may sell the good at a lower price as subsidies make it easier and cheaper to supply the good. Government subsidies reduce the cost of production and increase supply at the given price, shifting supply to the right. Now let's take a look at the P in spite, which is the changes in the cost of production. So the cost of production is about the total cost of manufacturing a product. So if the cost of raw materials increases or another cost of production, such as a national minimum wage or the living wage increases that firms need to pay, then supply will decrease at the given price as production costs have increased. This means firms will be less willing to supply as much at that given price and there will be a shift to the left on the supply curve. However, when firms have a lower cost of production, then they are going to be willing to supply more at that given price. A manufacturer of coffee might see a reduction in the cost of raw materials, such as coffee beans, so they may pass on that reduction of cost to wholesalers and retailers. Also, a rise in the exchange rate will mean that it is cheaper for a firm to import goods and services from another country. This will mean that supply will increase at that given price and there will be a shift to the right on the supply curve. Indirect taxation is another factor affecting supply. These are the taxes that the government places on goods and services. Taxes are an additional cost of production. So if the government increases indirect taxes, such as VAT, this would lead the firm to produce a lower quantity at a given price. This would mean the supply curve would shift to the left. However, lower taxes will encourage firms to produce more in that market and can stimulate more supply of the goods and services they produce, therefore shifting the supply curve to the right. Let's take a look at new technology. An introduction of new technology should generally reduce the cost of production and increase supply. If you look at the headline in the news article, Volkswagen really would like this new technology to do with electric vehicles. Now, if they had that, one could assume that it would lower the cost of production for them and they would be able to increase supply of the electric vehicles. The level of available technology will influence the level of supply for firms. If new technology is introduced or new machinery is developed, firms may be willing to increase the level of production. 
as they are producing more efficiently, their unit cost should fall, and this means that firms will be willing to supply. Therefore, there will be a shift to the right on the supply curve. Finally, let's take a look at external shocks. External shocks involve unexpected events such as hurricanes like Hurricane Irma, floods and a poor harvest which can reduce the total quality of an item available. If there is an unexpected event, then this would lead to an increase in the price of the good, meaning that production costs rise and firms reduce the amount they are willing to supply. Therefore, there is a shift to the left on the supply curve. Thanks for watching this video. If you're liking a business vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you later.